Hi everyone, I hope you are fine and your families as well. Today I'm going to show you how to use a um, lexical tutor to search for the frequency of words. I have the website here in my, uh, my favorites. I will choose lexical tutor. Uh, this is the web page. This is the page that offers us a lot of different tools. So, I want to search for the frequency of words, in particular, text. It means the text that I choose. So, this option allows me this feature. I'll choose it. Here we have some instruction in the box. Um, and here we have sample uh, texts or stories. This one is a Dracula a story. A story about Dracula. So here is the text of it. So we will search. We will search about the uh, the words that are most frequent or the keywords in this text. So we have our text ready, and we'll press submit. We'll wait for the result. Here are the words that are most frequent, from the most to the least frequent. Um, we have coffin, tomb, vampire, churchyard, hammer, and the other words. All these suggest that the theme of the story is a, a gothic theme and it's, it's scary things happen. So, another tool we can use uh, to find the concordance, uh, I mean the um, these words in context or the example of these words. So I'll go back and I'll highlight the text and take it to the concordance tool. I'll press Ctrl L and then copy the text and go back and take it to the concordance tool. Okay, this is the concordance tool. I'll press on it and I'll, cho uh, I'll choose uh, text concordance this option okay we have to put the text here first can empty the box and then we'll paste the story that we have already and we'll submit and we'll see the concordance lines or the words in context so this tool offers us a view uh, of every word in this text uh, arranged in alphabetical order. So let's see. Let's find our example words or the, <coughs> the keywords. Let's see them in context. Uh, one thing that you can uh, check in the um, in this tool or in concordance examples is the um, uh, the grammatical uh, structure of a sentence like for example here uh, we have this the word back which can make a, a phrasal a verb with many other verbs like came back went back get back uh, go back and hurried back stood back run back all these different verbs make a phrasal verb with this word back. So this shows us uh, something about the use of language. So let's go to the, our example um, vampire. Our keywords vampire, let's see. A lot of things we can know about uh, the use of language through this uh, concordance lines or through the examples. One of them is to know something about words that we don't know their meaning. Uh, search for vampire. Okay. down ok 
Okay. Where is it? Yes. Yes, here we are. We have a vampire. Let's look for the um, the uh, article that precedes the uh, word. We have a vampire, the vampire, the word vampire, the vampire. We have noticed one simple thing, which is that the vampire here is um, is often um, preceded by the word the, which means that um, the vampire is something that is known by the characters in this story and this makes things more scary a lot of different things we can find it in the uh, concordance line so this time let's try a text that we have or, or that we are interested in finding things about so let's go back and um, I will go to a text that I have really uh, already prepared it's a text um, about a drama that I am interested in which is uh, Death of a Salesman by Arthur Miller I will copy its text and we'll take it to see the keywords in that text first we're going to go back to the uh, tool which is called keywords and we have to um, we have to empty this box. We'll paste our drama here, and we'll submit it and see the results. Let's see what sort of, um, of uh, keywords are there. So where are the results? We have to wait a little bit. Okay. Okay, it takes time because I think the uh, text is uh, very huge. Where are the results? Let's wait a little more. Okay. Okay, these are the results. So, in our drama, we have Biff, the word Biff, and Willie. These are the main characters who have the conflict uh, between them. So, they're the most frequent words here. So, here's the, this is the son and this is the father uh, who have the conflict. Uh, in this story. So let's see what other words we have. Okay, these words do not suggest anything for me. I don't know why they are repeated. Okay, here we have okay. It's most frequent used word because this okay uh, occurs in uh, conversational speech, occurs in uh, um, typical everyday speech. And we have here flunk, which is another word that is most frequent, because the, because in this story the the whole problem is that the uh, the the boy who flunked math, who had failed math lesson, and his trouble started since then. So we have here salesman. It's another theme in this um, drama, and we have here flirt, humiliation. These are two things that uh, the character uh, feels. After he gets old, he feels humiliated. Insult is another theme. Uh, horrifying, it's a feeling that really repeats in the story. And we have insult in goddamn. Goddamn it. It really suggests a bad mood. And it's used uh, by the characters a lot because this story is about conflict in the family so this word uh, occurs a lot so these are the keywords of the text now we can go back and see the concordance lines or the words in context okay so let's go back 
and we'll have to copy. We have to copy our text in the concordance option. Choose this option and then we will empty the instruction and have our text ready. We'll press submit and see the results. So, press wait because this is a really a huge text. It's a whole drama here. Okay, so we have our results ready. <coughs> they are <coughs> they are arranged alphabetically. So we'll start with A to the Z. Every word in the text is there. Every word is in an example here. Starts with the numbers and then starts with the letters. Okay, so it takes time to give the, the results. Okay, so it seems that the connection is really terrible, so I have to leave you. That's it, and uh, I hope you that uh, I hope you have found the video useful. Okay, <laughs> okay, so it works. It works. Let's see. Okay. Okay, it comes. Okay, the connection now is very strong. Let's wait the results. So, when searching the concordance lines, you have to see what the results suggest to you. What gives you, uh, what, um, what sort of question you have in mind, maybe. Uh, for example, here I have the word ain't. Ain't, which is a word that is used in uh, colloquial speech uh, frequently. So we have it here. Uh, a lot of time it's mentioned. Ain't, which is, it means um, I'm not, or is not, or um, are not. So it's, it replaces all of them. I ain't, they ain't. So it replaces. They are not supposed uh, in uh, standard English. It's supposed to be, but this replaces different kinds of auxiliary plus not. Just ain't we ain't. Um, you ain't. So this is one thing that we can see, and um, and notice uh, when uh, when we search the concordance lines. So let's see and, um, and see what the results suggest to us. Here is another thing that we can do, is to compare the uh, phrasal verb came. We have came back, came down, came for, came from, and uh, came out, came over, a different types of phrasal verbs that has the word came. Okay. So I hope that you uh, find it useful and um, thank you. Goodbye.